I don't see cancer as a bad thing. I, I say it was always a good thing, and people look at me like, how is cancer a good thing? It's a good thing because I became a voice. Not one that I wanted, but the minute I got diagnosed, I thought, I'm going to do something with this. I'm not just going to sit in a hospital bed. I want to do something. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Morning, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. So here's the news. My name is Stuntman Stu. I'm on the radio in Ottawa on Magic 100, and I've uh, accomplished my dream of working on the radio every day. Good morning, it's Stuntman Stu along a with A typical Andrew. day with Stu is a lot of laughter. He certainly is endearing to the listeners. He's that guy next door. He's dorky, he's dumb, he's likable. He's, you know, the guy that everybody wants to be around. I started off at a rock station in the late 90s as a stunt guy. That's where I got my name. And 20 years later, I've accomplished many things, including working for the Ottawa Senators for the last 10 years as their public address announcer. Sitting at center ice is one of the most special places in the world. You're sitting there, they're dropping the puck, you've got 18,000 people around you, and when they score, my adrenaline gets up, I'm marking down the names, rehearsing it once, and then as soon as I turn on that mic, there's no turning back. It's Senator's goal! Le but de Senator! And it's like this incredible rush. It's like living out your fantasy night after night after night. Number 65, you know, so saying, you're a captain. I would think that after 10 years I would be used to it, but I'm not. Next to playing in the NHL, it's the greatest feeling. Throughout his career, Stu has put a huge focus on many charities in Ottawa and has worked tirelessly to benefit so many of them. That's just the way he thinks. One of the initiatives that I'm very proud of is our No More Bullies campaign, which we launched at Magic 100 in 2011. I'm proud to say that we visited with over 10,000 students. You have one life, you got to do something with it. And I chose at that time to make that my message. Obviously, that changed in 2016. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is um, a bit of a, a difficult announcement. I have leukemia. The weeks leading up to my diagnosis, I was feeling awful. I didn't know what was going on. About seven hours later, I think I'm going home for the night. Another doctor runs in and says, He's being transferred to the Ottawa General. I'm like, why? Because you need blood, desperately. I'm like, you guys don't have any here? Is there not any in the vending machine down the hall? But I didn't realize the severity of it. I had cancer. It was that only night, the first night, that I allowed myself the why me. I woke up the next morning, looked in the mirror and said, enough with the why me, we're gonna find some way to beat this. A lot of people would just crumble under that ton of bricks that just fell on you. He just said no. From the beginning, he was going to be a fighter. We're going to beat this. I purposely put the story out there about 20 minutes after I was diagnosed because I thought, I'm going to do something with this. The leukemia is not going to kill me. This will. I didn't know how he would take this ball and run with it and be so open and be so inviting into his world and into his horror, his nightmare. If you see me, um, I probably will have looked like I've been beat up a little. He was going to make sure that other people, families, kids that were going through this, watching a parent, watching a loved one, were going to have that support, we're going to understand the good, bad and the ugly. And he just became such a hero for people. Just like I told you on February 15th, we will beat this. Once. Once in my life, I'm going to be right. Everybody wasn't surprised that he chose to turn it into a charity. I'm that one leukemia patient, and there are so many others in our community. So if he was going through something and there was an opportunity there to draw attention to something and to make money and to help others, he was going to somehow monetize that. But not for himself, for everyone else. The Stu Strong campaign has raised over $315,000 for leukemia and stem cell research at the Ottawa Hospital. Somebody's getting diagnosed today, and I want that person to have access to the best medical care, the best research, the best doctors, the best nurses, the best of everything. I've suddenly become the cancer guy. A lot of people feel they can talk to me, they feel relatable to me, and I like that. I love that. <laughs> this is nuts.
This is, uh, I've done so many charity events. I knew you were going to make me cry. I've been on the opposite side so many times. It was surreal to see people caring about me. And even when I'm walking to the penalty box, when fans give me the thumbs up, that means a lot. It's not something I can ever repay people for, but I mean, I'm so grateful for it. I never would have gotten through this nightmare without all the support in the community because those words of messages help. A lot of people think that doesn't mean anything. Oh, he doesn't read those messages, but I did, and I do. We send our support to Ottawa Senators public address announcer, Stuntman Stu Schwartz. The hockey community is so tight-knit and so special. I was getting messages from senators and, and non-senators I had coaches. It's like, who am I? I'm just the guy that announces. I, I'm nobody special, but I felt special. It means a lot. That's a lot. I came back in the middle of the Boston series, and I was sitting there moments before the game started, and I looked up and I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if it's in me there's something that scares you into doing it. And I turned on the mic and I said, like, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome your... And I just found it. Now I'm about 75%. It's kind of like a player that gets injured and comes back from the injury. It's going to take time. I just need time. I love it. I love it so much. I never take it for granted. I walk into the rink, walk down to the penalty box, open the door, sit down, center ice, and I'm home. Thank you for watching Stu Strong. For Time Out with the Twins and Ottawa Life Magazine's new sports team, if Stu's story spoke to you and you want to help, we encourage you to give blood or donate to leukemia and stem cell research at the Ottawa Hospital.